is Kathleen Kuznicki, and I am the chair of the Legislative and Economic Development Committee for the Pittsburgh North Regional Chamber. And as part of our workforce development video project today, I am interviewing Sabrina, Sabrina Mosby from Vibrant Pittsburgh. Welcome, Sabrina. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about Vibrant Pittsburgh, please? Absolutely. So Vibrant Pittsburgh's mission is to build a thriving and inclusive space in our Pittsburgh region. We partner with employers uh, and support attraction, retention, and elevation of all talent. Well, that is the big focus of all our workforce development. So you're a perfect organization for the interview today. So let's just get started with some of the questions. So what changes or new programs are you seeing implemented in the region to retain current employees? I've actually witnessed firsthand the dynamic shifts within our region's businesses approach to DEI, uh, specifically from a programmatic perspective. The first thing I would say, and this is aligned with our work at Vibrant Pittsburgh, is DEI training. And okay. so continuous learning and uh, cultivating a, a culture of uh, inclusive uh, diversity and equity training has been something that I've seen a significant increase in. And um, these programs are educating employer employers' teams on the importance of DEI, promoting and harnessing a more productive work environment, actually. Uh, some of the other uh, programmatic components, I would say, would be around flexible work. I, I think we all experienced uh, what uh, a flexible work environment and requirements around flexible work uh, environments were since the pandemic, and uh, they are largely here here to stay. And so uh, one of the areas that a, a number of employers are leaning into uh, would be ways to uh, accelerate uh, an employee's uh, well-being by uh, providing flexible work hours, or obviously remote work is the mm -hmm. one that we're most commonly familiar with. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and it's been really important to help individuals balance their personal and professional lives. So for workers who, or employers who might be interested in getting some DEI education and training. Do you have any recommendation? Is that something Vibrant Pittsburgh does or do you partner with other organizations? It is something that we we offer. So our benefits include resources related to education. And so we have uh, customized uh, training segments that we offer to our members and also uh, that we provide uh, to regional employers uh, based on what their goals are, and we build a plan and uh, and we help walk uh, employers and their teams through that plan for success. Okay, very good. So what new tactics and marketing are, are you seeing that are effective for attracting new talent to the region? Oh my goodness. Um, so it's, this is a really important component because especially for our region, uh, as we think about uh, I a workforce that uh, really needs talent and uh, a place like Pittsburgh where we've seen population population loss. Um, we specifically are seeing things around uh, marketing to improve the diversity of talent um, that is attracted to uh, our workplaces. And so things like more inclusive job descriptions are being deployed. So things that are emphasizing an investment uh, to inclusivity in the workplace is is something that we've seen uh, an uptick in gender neutral language uh, is something that's really important. Mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, very clearly uh, articulating a company's commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion um, uh, to uh, incorporate a, a wider pool of applicants. Uh, even targeted recruitment campaigns are things that we um, we see and we know are important, for instance, companies that are recruiting from HBCUs and have uh, uh, an investment in building relationships with uh, organizations that are dedicated to supporting underrepresented groups is other, in another area where marketing strategies are being deployed. Um, I think that showcasing uh, some equity and inclusion, diversity, success uh, within uh, within a company is something that we're seeing as well. So uh, firsthand stories around promotion 
an elevation okay. in the workplace of individuals from underrepresented groups as well is something that uh, we're seeing, you know, being deployed, not just externally, but also internally uh, okay. from a re for retention purposes, right? So mm -hmm. elevating those stories of individuals that are in the workplace currently uh, to enhance the experience and also to showcase from a representation perspective that uh, there are opportunities for growth for underrepresented individuals. And then you do you work with these companies to actually you know, craft some of these messages? So we're not uh, necessarily crafting the messages, but we are helping to um, to elevate them uh, and to promote the messages from our region's businesses, from our members specifically, um, to help balance the narrative around um, okay. us being uh, an inclusive and a vibrant city. And so if one of our members is uh, presenting an opportunity, a job opportunity um, that is uh, hoping to reach a broader audience, then we will help to to elevate that message through our job board and our jobs berg on uh, various social media platforms, as well as if there's good news to share, right? Mm -hmm. um, a, a prominent success story. Uh, one of our companies just uh, put out uh, their most recent diversity, equity, and inclusion mm -hmm. report. Right? We're going to elevate that. We're going to share it out as well and help to broaden the pool and, and, and outreach for them. And so we're a partner in that way to help elevate the messages that they're crafting. Mm -hmm. Uh, but those are some of the ways that we're seeing companies intentionally invest in um, connecting with diverse populations and new talent. Mm -hmm. And so um, our role is to be a partner and to help share that information broadly. Okay. And while I know there's always going to be room for improvement, do you think Pittsburgh is recognized as a growing DEI inclusivity city? Or, I mean, do we have a long way to go, a short way to go? Just in general, what do you think? You know, I, I think that... Um, you know, it's it's relative. It depends yeah. on, I mean, we could look at different industries and sectors mm -hmm. and see areas of growth and progress and then some areas where um, things are stagnant, uh, okay. especially in uh, fields where they continue to be more male dominated, let's just say, right? And mm -hmm. um, we've had challenges with engaging uh, other genders. Uh, that uh, is, a, is a journey, right? We continue mm -hmm. to, to work uh, to improve in those particular spaces. I will say uh, that, you know, since, um, uh, quite honestly, since the death of George Floyd, um, you know, we've seen an uptick in the number of companies that are aware of uh, a variety of the policies and practices that are in place that um, really do create barriers uh, to diversity, equity, and inclusion, success, and growth, and have been working uh, to either eliminate uh, those barriers uh, or be more cognizant um, and making sure that team members that are making decisions, right, leaders that are making decisions are more cognizant uh, of their bias, uh, potential bias, and also potential barriers to success for growth in the DEI space. Um, and so there are some wins that we continue to see and celebrate, uh, but I would say that collectively as a region, um, as a country, we still have a, a long ways to go um, to achieve equity. Now, you mentioned about flexibility and such, but what other what benefits, other benefits are candidates seeking from employers? And are there differences in requests from candidates relocating into our region? Absolutely. Uh, so comprehensive health benefits, I would say, uh, of course, are, are paramount. And so uh, we uh, we tend to talk a lot about the importance of well-being at Byron Pittsburgh, and so uh, mental health programs and counseling services are important. Stress management resources as well okay. contain things that are really important for companies to consider how they're investing and making available to their uh, their employees, in addition to just the comprehensive medical, dental, and vision. Um, uh, even uh, things like investing in professional development uh, organizations that help uh, individuals uh, spend time and invest with like-minded individuals uh, are things that we see uh, being made available in addition to creating and supporting things like employee resource groups and organizations connected to professional development. Uh, obviously, uh, for uh, individuals that are looking to relocate to the region, mm -hmm. uh, 
relocation assistance, uh, right? Mm-hmm. But you know, that's based yeah. on yeah. Uh, for sure. But one of the things that is really attractive and something that we've been able to support at Vibrant Pittsburgh is this idea of building inclusive workplace cultures by helping to acclimate individuals to the region who are new. Uh, so mm-hmm. this is more of a community integration okay. uh, program. Uh, so that's um, really improving and increasing uh, connectivity with uh, like-minded individuals, leaders, ambassadors in the region uh, to help individuals grow roots and really um, gain a sense of belonging. So one of the ways that we help to support that at Vibrant Pittsburgh uh, is through something called Newcomer Connect Activities and Design okay. Arounds. And so members of Vibrant Pittsburgh can let us know that they are recruiting or that they've hi- recently hired an executive. And uh, we, uh, throughout the year, host events to connect newcomers uh, themselves and their families uh, to each other. And so they're not navigating these things um, in isolation. Uh, but we also uh, have, we've been known for and have hosted Dine Arounds where uh, we will bring ambassadors uh, to the region, so, so senior leaders who've been mm-hmm. here and uh, have had great experiences here in the region uh, with newcomers to help immediately build bridges and, and create areas of connectivity. Uh, and so that's more of a community integration programming. And that's something that uh, we believe is is somewhat unique. It's it's different than just a general relocation where we're talking about what school are you going to send your children to or, or what community might you you move to, which is very important, right? That is baseline, very important. Uh, but there's really nothing like having a conversation with a Pittsburgher or someone that's... Personal. Why don't we have French fries on all our sandwiches? Right, and you're answering salad, these right? questions. Yeah. yeah, yes, right. So to, to get that, you know, real life experience yeah. and connectivity where you can pick up the phone and say, hey, you know, I'm thinking about uh, where... I should uh, enroll uh, my kids in, in programming in the summer, or, you know, I'm personally looking for a yoga studio or somewhere to get my hair done. Yeah. Uh, those types of things. It's really, it's, you know, you can Google them for sure yeah. and maybe read the reviews, but there's nothing like a trusted ambassador here in the region that yeah. you've built a relationship with that can help you navigate that. So um, I would say that those types of things are really important and innovative. Yeah, I mean to say because people probably there. I think a lot of people when I know moved to be surprised how many different neighborhoods and how different they all are, how unique each of the neighborhoods within the city of Pittsburgh, and then you move out to the suburbs, and then there's a whole another set of unique neighborhoods and such. So I think it's a lot for people to take in. They are really surprised. And the other thing I've learned is from people who move here. They said, yeah, everywhere else you drive somewhere, uh, you miss you miss your regular turn. You just go off the next one, turn around in Pittsburgh. You literally can't get there from here. Like you miss it. There's a sign that says, ha you missed your exit. Like the directionality, trying to learn that. It said, it's always funny. You're like the wrong part of town if you miss your exit. So things that Absolutely. people need to adjust to. And that is where you need trusted advisors even for the city. Oh, for sure. Oh, that's so that. true. <laughs> okay. So what do you think is the biggest area of opportunity for regional employers to attract and retain talent already in the region or for those maybe looking to come in outside of the greater Pittsburgh region? The biggest area of of opportunity, I would say, is just fostering a culture where employees feel like they belong. Um, And it's probably the biggest area of challenge as well. Um, That's just the way, you know, that's always the way that it is. But um, if you think about it, right, if individuals, uh, we spend a we spend a significant amount of time at work. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to say that our peers are responsible for the culture of belonging right? We determine what that culture looks like, right? Because it's created by humans. And so uh, the way that we show up definitely matters. And the opportunity to create spaces uh, in the workplace where people feel like they can be connected and feel like they can be their authentic self um, most certainly can penetrate the rest of uh, the community, right? So the neighborhoods in which people live, uh, the places where people worship if they choose to do so or where they spend uh, social time and engage with others after work. Um, that's the greatest opportunity. Um, it's where relationships are built and sustained and it's how people determine where you know they kind of fit uh, in this in this community. And so employers have a great deal of responsibility in helping to foster that um, for every other area of someone's life. Yeah. Um, so it's a big, it's a, it's a big responsibility, a big area of responsibility, uh, but there are a number of ways uh, that, that we can succeed. And Vibrant Pittsburgh most certainly is here to help support uh, that growth and in, in learning. 
Yeah, I think an old school way of thinking is that people just automatically kind of get osmosis and integrate just naturally. But what it sounds like you're saying to me is employers need to be very mindful. That needs to be an active process on the on the um, on the impetus of the employer to bring in and make the employee feel that they are being inclusive and that they're included. You know, it has to be more of an active process. Absolutely, because it's just as easy for individuals to feel excluded in yeah. spaces where they aren't represented well, right? And so if there's not active, intentional, uh, you know, thought that goes into the way that someone is brought into this community, um, then it's more likely that, that, that they'll feel isolated or excluded from uh, the culture that exists in the first place. And that goes for, you know, people from all different backgrounds um, mm-hmm. and walks of life. Okay. Well, for you to help, um, say, our members of our chamber and such, how can they reach out and contact you to learn more about this process or what they could be doing better? Absolutely. That's a really good question. Um, They can reach out to us, obviously, uh, on the web. VibrantPittsburgh.org is a great way. Uh, We are uh, available on on all social networks. And so also follow us um, on Instagram and connect with us on LinkedIn. That's where our jobs board is and on Facebook as well. Okay, well, thank you very much, Sabrina. Thank you for being here on this nice sunny day, doing this little interview with us. And I'd also like to thank the Pittsburgh North Regional Chamber for giving us an opportunity to educate our membership. Thank you.